Hi guys, welcome to this week's vlog. I am just putting on the finishing touches as I get ready to head over to the Beverly Hills tree lighting, Christmas tree lighting, I should say, ceremony. And I thought I'd do a quick kind of finish getting ready with me. My makeup's already done because I had to do that in the ugly lighting bathroom, so I didn't film that. And then I just pulled some clothes, put on some earrings. This is just the basic black long sleeved tee that I showed you in the, actually I didn't show you, I'm gonna put it in this video. So in the last video I posted, I did a clothing haul and I had a bunch of stuff down in my laundry room that I had washed that was air drying and a bunch of stuff that I had left at the tailor. So that's gonna be a to be continued. I'm gonna include that footage in this week's vlog. But yeah, the black basic t-shirt, you will see it again in this video. It was something that I left air drying in my laundry room. I'm gonna wear that. And just something comfortable, like I don't wanna be walking around in high heels or feel like overdressed because it starts at five. I need to get out of here soon. It's like 4.30. Um, and then these dark wash jeans, these were such a find for me. Um, I got these when I was in New York. So I was at the mall last minute looking for something to wear to the Chanel Last Chance Diner if you watched the New York Fashion Week vlog. I didn't bring anything because I didn't know I was going to that. So I headed to the mall and I ended up seeing these jeans in the window of H&M. And I had seen them online, but they were sold out in my size, sold out in all the stores around me. So I popped in there just on the one-off. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna see if they have my jeans. So they did, and they were on sale for like $34, I wanna say. So altogether, so worth cramming them into my already full suitcase. So I'm gonna put this stuff on, off camera, you pervs, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and almost dressed. Let's see if I can get my shirt unbunched in these jeans because otherwise it looks like bumpy underwear. I was feeling like this look kind of needed a belt because it was feeling a little bit incomplete to me. And I also should mention that I got ready pretty quick. I was in client appointments most of the day. Then when I was done, I had to walk my dog so that he would be ready for when I left the house and left him alone for a little bit. So one of the things that I talk to my clients about is when I do the styling sessions is pulling their most worn pieces. So what kind of things do they grab when they're trying to get ready in a hurry? Um, it's very different when you have a, a special event or something formal, that's not what I mean. But on the day-to-day, -day, like what do you mostly grab and wear? And I think we tend to shop for pieces that catch our eye and we're like, oh, that's cute. But we sort of leave out the practicality element of it and we don't really think like when realistically am I going to wear this or where or how does it fit in with the other pieces I already own? Do I need to buy a bunch of other things in order to make this piece work? So those are things that people should be asking themselves. But anyways, long story short, jeans, t-shirt, those are basics that a lot of people wear if you live in colder weather or even here in the winter, it could be a sweater, but you get the idea. And then you can really mix and match those pieces. You can style them up, style them down by adding jackets, scarf, vest, earrings, belt, you know, accessories. So speaking of, let me grab my shoes. So I'm gonna wear these because these pants are a little bit long and so I need to wear a little bit of a heel, but these, as far as shoes with a heel, are not uncomfortable. So I'm gonna put these on. And then I have a piece that I'm really, really excited about. It's the jacket and I just got it in. So I will grab that and show you momentarily. We will do our usual outfit check in the mirror before I leave. And I will take you guys with me and show you guys some of the tree lighting ceremony and what's going on down there. So it should be fun. And I should also add that my husband is out of town. If this is your first time here, there are two things you may not know. I work as a fashion stylist. I'm based in West LA and my husband, he works in the cannabis industry. So he is periodically gone, he spends a lot of time in the Bay Area, maybe two weeks at a time. So this is one of the times that he's not here. I spend time alone and I don't usually feel sad or lonely or anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna be late if I don't get dressed. So let me put these on, I'll grab the jacket and we will do our fit check. Okay, so I might have just come up with the finishing touch that's going to ruin my look or be everything. I've already done my lip liner. I realized that without the rest of it, it looks kind of crazy. So it was the MAC, is this cork or oak? Cork liner. 
and then the Summer Fridays Cherry um, Lip Balm. So I thought I would do kind of the trendy or TikTok viral cherry cola or cherry lip that everybody likes. But I'm not sure that it goes with this Merlot colored jacket, so we will see. I might have to wipe it off and just do like a neutral brown lip. So let's find out. I got lucky that this works because I am in a hurry. I think it does work because the brown liner keeps it from going too like Christmassy red red with a wine colored, which this is coming off more brown in this lighting, but it's actually kind of a burgundy wine color. So I'll show you the whole outfit in the mirror in a moment and we'll talk about why this jacket is so amazing, which just reminded me, I tried it on for the first time just now and it actually fits, so I need to cut the tags off before I go out with tags on my clothes, but then I will show you the whole outfit in the mirror and yeah. Okay, so this is the finished look. And this jacket, the reason that I was so enamored with it is that it's basically a dupe-ish that I found on my own. I didn't get this from anybody else. I found this, I'm saying dupe-ish because it's not like a full-on dupe dupe of the Saint Laurent jacket. So if you've seen the Saint Laurent jacket that is burgundy or maroon colored, you know that it costs $7,000, which is, you know, a hefty price tag for one piece of clothing. So I found this and I'll link it below. I actually found it on a pre-Black Friday sale. It's actual leather, so it's not um, vegan leather or PVC. And um, yeah, so I got it on a Black Friday sale. I think the total cost was literally $135, you guys. So I think it's really cute. I went up a couple sizes. True to size, I would probably wear an extra small, but I didn't want this to be like cropped and tight. So this is a medium on me. And for reference, I'm about five foot four and about 110 pounds. So hopefully that helps for sizing reference. And then for bag, I'm gonna just wear that black Chanel one that's behind me. It would look better if it had gold hardware. I have plenty of bags that do, but I just am in a hurry. I need to get going. So I'm just gonna wear that Chanel bag and call an Uber and get out of here. So I will see you guys at the tree lighting ceremony. What is happening with my hair? I'm just getting ready to go to dinner with my husband and when I got home from the gym today, a missing item from my Sephora um, VIB sale was here. So it's the Givenchy powder, it's the rose one. I have been using this one, it's the purple one. Let me see what it's technically called, upside down. Um, Mousseline Pastel. So it's kind of a lilac color, which you wouldn't think would work under the eye, um, but it does work on me. I'm kind of surprised because most people don't want a bluish purple color under their eye, and I can't open this. Why can I not open this? So everybody loves this rose colored or pink version. I should probably put the lid on before I make a big mess. 
ooh, it is really strong smelling. Um, it's kind of a floral like rose-ish smell. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like this. So I'm just gonna kind of test it out, see how it goes on under the eye. This is not non-acnegenic, so the only place that I will be using it is underneath my eye area because I don't tend to break out like immediately under my eye. Okay, so first impressions, it goes on nicely, but you guys know the wear test is really where it's at. And speaking of, I used this MAC powder again that I said I didn't really like very much after wearing it out because it was very, very white and almost like a silvery white metallic. By the time it had kind of melded with my oils and foundation, it looked almost like the Tin Man when I got home. So I decided to give it another try and I put it on with this instead of packing it on with the puff that came with it. So I'm gonna give it another try, but I still think I might need to exchange it for the um, like the light or the light medium colored one. And I'm just here finishing up my makeup. So I've also decided to give this Huda Beauty mascara another try. Um, I almost got rid of it when I cleaned out my makeup caddy, but makeup caddy, that sounded so weird. What else would you call like a makeup storage thing? So I'm gonna give it another try. It feels a little, it's kind of thick, like it's very pigmented. So that's like the nice way that I would describe it. But for me, it's kind of chunky. And I just don't know that my face happens to carry a ton of lashes very well. Case in point, anytime I've ever put on false lashes, I immediately take them off because I'm like, they look almost drag-ish on me, which if you are doing drag, no shame in that. But if you are not, and that's the appearance, not really a vibe that I am after. So um, tonight I used the Chanel Sublimage foundation, so maybe it'll have a little bit of a different outcome with this powder that I thought was kind of white and metallic-y as the makeup wore on. And then, so when I did wear that, I used the House Labs, which I love this foundation. So the hype on this is real, at least for me, it really works nicely on my skin. But I think I need a little bit more mascara. Okay, so it's a pretty safe bet to say that I don't like that Huda Beauty mascara. I think I'm gonna toss it. I just threw on a little bit more of this L'Oreal one, um, and now it's a big kind of chunky lash situation that I don't fancy, but it's too late to fix it now. And I was wondering, I'm sitting here in the viewfinder, I'm like, why do I look like I don't have any eyebrows? It's because I don't have any brow gel on. So maybe I should do that as well. Okay, that's a little bit better. I feel like it's mostly the light being really bright and kind of diminishing the appearance of brows. Um, but as I was saying, I'm not sure where we're going. Um, my husband is next door on the phone in his office and I can hear him a little bit. And it sounds like he might not have had the best day. So um, I'm trying to think of a place that he would like to go so that maybe he'll have a little bit of a better day blend that out a little bit. All right, so my hair is obviously out of its bun. It's gonna look a little bit wild until it kind of deflates and gets a little bit more dry. It's still a little bit damp, but this is it for the makeup tonight and I'm not sure where we're going. I need to get dressed, but I have a hard time figuring out what I'm gonna wear when I don't know where I'm going. And I almost forgot this mess on my bed is stuff that I had also gotten in the clothing haul and I forgot to show you guys. I'm so dumb. I threw some of it in the wash because I don't like, like that new clothes smell and so a couple things were drying. I let them air dry in the laundry room downstairs and I forgot that they were in there and then a couple pieces were at the tailor and I just picked those up as well. So let me show you that while my hair dries and I kind of marinate on where I want to go and what I feel like wearing. So let me move the camera and show you the rest of the stuff. All right, so here are the final couple things that I totally forgot to show you guys in the try on clothing haul. So just a black long sleeve ribbed basic cotton top. I find that as I rotate in and out of my basics for the seasons, so from warmer weather clothing to cooler weather clothing, I find that sometimes they've kind of gotten worn out or pilled or they're not in the best shape. So I just decided to pick up this long sleeve ribbed black top because why not? I'm sure the one that I do have in my closet, who am I kidding, one, 
several <laughs> black tops are probably not in the best shape. So if I go to pull them out of my closet to wear once it gets cold, and I'm like, ooh, this is ratty and gross. So I just decided to pick that up. And then another nice, easy, basic, um, this is just a cotton t-shirt from Zara in a nice olive green color. You can tell I like olive green. Sorry, I'm still in my around the house clothes because I haven't figured out where I'm going or what I want to put on. And then how cute, you guys, how cute is this? So this is a horse print and it is gray and silver. It's a sweatshirt, but it's kind of like a terry cloth on the inside. It's not super heavy fleece. When I was a kid, I had a sweatshirt. I think it was Jordache. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of it online because it would be super vintage by now. Um, but when I was a kid, I had a Jordache sweatshirt that had a horse across the sleeve, pretty similar to this. So when I saw this, I thought it was so cute and I had to have it. So I got this as well. And then I had a couple of things at the tailor that I also had totally forgot about. So these pants, they're a wide leg. Let me back up. So these pants, they're from Revolve. Um, I'll link everything in the description box, but a nice kind of neutral brown wide leg pant. And then this I got a while back. I actually had intended to bring it to New York with me when I went for Fashion Week, but I ended up not because <laughs> the silliest thing happened at the tailor. So I had washed it before I was gonna take it to the tailor because stuff can shrink. So the hem it was actually kind of like sewn pretty bad quality. The hem came out the first time that I washed it. So the hem was down and I took it to the tailor because the waist was too loose. And so when we measured how we wanted the waist to sit and she took it in, the hem was down. So neither one of us thought about the fact that once the hem went back up, how long or short it would be. And I tried it on when I picked it up the first time and I was like, ooh, this is inappropriately short. So I had to bring it back to her and explain like, hey, it's neither one of our faults, but this is too short. Like I cannot wear it in this state. So it has since been brought back. I actually thought it was really cute with this, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera because I can't see it from here, so let's see. Yeah, so there's a little pocket detail on it and I just thought it was kind of a cool go with everything kind of cargo, like military-ish, edgy black skirt. I don't think it's edgy if you call it edgy. It's so nerdy, sorry. I also picked up a refresh of some black staple boots. They're kind of shiny. They're looking shinier than they are because of the way the light's set up behind the camera but they had kind of a cool wedge heel, but I'm not honestly sure if I love how shiny they were. When I got them online, they didn't look like this severely shiny. So I'm gonna try them on maybe with what I would wear them with and see if I like them. I love the style, I love the longer pointy toe, but I don't know if I love like the patent leather appearance. So we will see on these. Okay, now I need to get dressed, and I still don't know where we're gonna go, but I need to get ready, so. Okay, so it's been one of those nights I literally could not dress myself. I did not know what I felt like putting on, and I finally decided on just this simple black silk camisole, and then these jeans are silver. I can't decide on the shoes. We still can't see the shoes. So do we wanna do the Gucci slide or the silver slide? Hey babe. Yeah. Can you help me pick a shoe? Yeah. Sparkly, Gucci, or silver? Silver actually has a lot more, yeah, it works better. The sparkly Gucci's cool, but I don't know if that's- Is it too dressy? Yeah, it's a bit too elegant. All right, well. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of feeling it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Cool. All right, I just need my bag and I'll be ready. <laughs> Guys, so the last time I wore this bag was um, for Halloween and it has so many hilarious leftovers in it. I have um, several cannabis joints, which, babe, you can have these. And then, what flavors do you have? I don't know, they're right there. Oh, these are just wraps. Okay, and then the funniest thing of all, I don't know if I can show this on YouTube. Are they gonna, are they gonna take my video down for showing this phallic, this giant phallic lollipop? So 
tell me you went out in West Hollywood without telling me you went out in West Hollywood. So I'm gonna take this out of my purse before I go out. I'm finally almost ready. I just came to get some perfume. My favorite, the Dior Grease. And then I'll give you the details up close and insert a clip of the full body outfit. But I've got the Bottega Silver Drop Earrings. I've been wearing these a lot. I finally broke down and got them in silver. I had them in gold and I'm like, really don't need these. But I kind of did. So, and then this is the bag and then black silk camisole, and it's been like 80 degrees. It's dark now, but it's been pretty warm, so I don't even think I'm gonna bring a jacket. But I am excited for jacket weather because I have a couple of really cute new ones. And then as far as makeup goes, I talked you through a little bit about what I had on my face earlier. And something that I actually learned the other day was a full water-based routine or a full silicone-based product routine and I think that's why the other day when I was cleaning up my sunscreens where is it it's over here so I think that's why the other day when I was saying I did not like this under makeup it caused it to kind of separate and break up and look really cakey I think that the silicone water-based um, situation was butting heads with this so it doesn't really work that well under makeup but maybe that's why so tonight it is all silicone based products and so far um, it looks okay and also that MAC powder isn't looking like really metallic or shiny just yet so maybe it just didn't pair well with the foundation I used it with so that is it we are ready to go oh yeah I almost forgot so the lip that I have on I am wearing the it's here on my messy counter I am wearing the Rode Espresso lip balm the um, iconic London Sister Sister Liner, and then, not that, but that, MAC Cork. So it's pulling a little bit more brown on camera, and I was honestly thinking of doing a red, like a cherry gloss, because everybody loves that cherry cola lip. I was gonna do this brown liner and the red Summer Fridays lip balm, but I thought with the black and the silver that it would be too much, so I'll save that for another day. So that's it for now. Um, we're going to head out to dinner. All right, so I'm just back from dinner. It's shortly before 10 and I'm going to do my skincare and go to bed. So um, tonight we went to Medeo's for dinner and just had a little bit of pasta, some salad, and now I'm back home. I'm going to wash my face and call it a night. And I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So I'll see you guys next time.